Hey everybody, me again, MDW. This evening, I'm going to open up my latest Z box I've just got through the post today. It's light side versus dark side, so it's going to be a Star Wars themed one. Let's get it open! Okay guys, so welcome back. So like you saw my last Z-Box in video, uh, it was Marvel vs um, DC. Opened it up there, got loads of Doctor Strange goodies in there. There's some cool stuff in the Z-Box, but this one is a Star Wars Z-Box. So I'm bringing lots of Christmas cheer on this festive Yuletide Eve. I'm gonna open it up now. I don't know what's in this thing. Let's have a look and see what's in the Star Wars Z-Box. With my hand trusty carving knife. My, oh, my Urukai carving knife. There we go. Let's get this open. Alright, so. Okay, Jack, Gizmos. Alright, so, first things first. Inside the box. Yeah, as you see the guys there, got a nice box for the stuff. The top there, the design. Got the Rebel insignia at the top here. And then, I don't know, some sort of Rebel with Jin or something. I don't know, loads of cool X Wings flying up here. Planet there as well. So, they always kind of have that nice little touch inside the box. See what we got. Right, first up, bag. Star Wars bag. With a first order stormtrooper on it. Let's just quickly crack that open there. See what quality it is. So it's got the Disney logo on it there. So official Disney bag. It's kind of like a yeah you know, satchel, more than like a you know over the shoulder kind of bag. Open it up. There we go. Got the zip at the top there. It's open, it's got a strap in there as well. Standard over his shoulder bag. Decent design on it. There we go. So we've got all that in there. Right, straight up, I'm going to say now there's no action figures in this box, there's no pop vinyls, there's no daubs, there's nothing, which is the kind of stuff that I really like and get these boxes for. The Marvel one, I've got a Batman figure, which I was really made up with. This here, don't look like there's much in it. Um, got a pair of Stoll's socks, Darth Vader socks, one size, do you know what I mean, that's like something you can just pick up, the Asda or something, um, got t-shirt, okay so that t-shirt there is the same as on the print on the box there, so that's pretty decent, Hang on, you see that on there. You've got the Rebel insignia again, whoever, you know, the front there, so it is like Rebel pilot or someone else got the Rebel flag, fight for freedom, join the Rebels. Um, yeah, there it is there. Prince, okay on it, good basic colouring. So there we go, it's the t shirt you get. You get a little Yoda, a little Yoda. Uh, I talk as well. <laughs> okay, that's a straight um, out of the film. That's cool. Okay, so this is about three or four phrases. It's got a little handy keyring holder there at the top there. A bit big to carry on the keyring, but at least the sound bites are straight out of Empire. Mini Yoda. And then we've got the last thing in the box which is a Star Wars Lego book. This thing is probably worth the money. Yeah, this book is 17 pounds, it says on the back there. Um, small scenes from a big galaxy. You guys see that? It's got like a snow trooper with um, like snowboarding skis on it. On the back, it's got the C-3PO one. The book itself, so have a little look through it word about it, introduction, so I think this is kind of like an art book, he's just like a guy that does photography and he's just taken loads of pictures of like Star Wars Lego and just kind of done like all artsy fartsy kind of pictures and stuff like that. So yeah, you've got like one of the Gamora Guard there, with a blank page just says who you're calling Pete, it's basically like an art book for this guy, Rancor there. 
with loads of funny little kind of anecdotes and stuff like that in it. See that it's like Luke, um, and he just goes through uh, just loads of kind of artsy fartsy stuff. You know, I like Star Wars Lego and everything like that, but I don't think I would never buy a book of Star Wars Lego pictures, you know. Yeah. Slave One, Biker Scouts. Yeah, the whole the whole book is just that. And that's it. Uh, you got the little brochure that you get in there as well, so it tells you everything that comes in the box, and then just like little bits and pieces there as well. So the Awakening's come and gone, yet the story is just beginning. So that Force Awakens there. Uh, Favourite unboxings from last month's thing. Uh, a bit about Rogue One, Star Wars Story, a couple of games there, George Lucas versus JJ Abrahams there. A very important project seems inspiring. An interview with someone, advert for pop finals, four hidden characters in Force Awakens, conspiracy theories, got the last one, Jar Jar Binks is a Sith Lord in it. And then you've got everything that came in the box. So it's a box exclusive t-shirt, the plush, which I think could be any plush. I think There's, they've got Chewbacca, BB-8, Kylo Ren, a couple of different types of socks, Lego book. Everything is awesome. And when you're a Z boxer, flick through the pages of this Star Wars Lego book. For those who hate Jar Jar Binks, there's a little page there where you can shoot him. And then another advert for the special edition of Spiro. And then next month's one, Looks like it's going to be Harry Potter or the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's like a mystical thing there, through there. Um, okay, so final thoughts. Pretty disappointed to be honest. I was really looking forward to this coming in. The, the Marvel vs DC one was really good. It had an action figure in it for the action figure collector. They had a t-shirt in it. You know, the mug was really good. You know, no Star Wars mug, very strange. No uh, uh, mighty... Um, uh, Mighty Mug or no Funko uh, Pop Vinyl, nothing is very surprising. Nothing about Rogue One in this box at all. So last time we had the Doctor Strange t-shirt, which was you know apt for the film, and you got the Rebel join the Rebel Alliance there, but there's nothing really kind of Rogue One is Force Awakens. And I'm really sorry, but yeah, this book is great. Is it like a Christmas gift for some kid or something like that? I don't know. I just don't think that's worth going, you know, get rid of that and then put in a mug and a pop vinyl, this would have turned this box into a, like a really, really good box, but I'm not gonna use that ever, the Yoda. The socks, I'll try and get rid of all these novelty socks, and you've got like the little the shoulder uh, satchel and the T-shirt. So they're really, really disappointed. I was expecting a lot more from that box. It just kind of seems like that they've just put in a load of, well, two in that. Okay. So I won't be getting a Z box again. I'm safe to say, I thought this was gonna be the one, the one that I was gonna go, yeah, I need to get this every single month. I think I'm just gonna go and stick to uh, Smuggler's Bounties, uh, exclusive stuff that you can get online the, with the pop vinyls and everything like that. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the Z box, the dark versus the light. Uh, with the cool artwork in there, I find your lack of faith disturbing. I find your lack of faith in packing Z boxes disturbing, if I'm honest, Zavi, because you've lost yourself a customer here. Uh, so, yeah, there we go, there's a look at that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks very much. MDW signing off.